Just like the components used in a fathom, the spaces, inside and out, are thoughtfully designed. All aspects, including the view from the pilot house, very efficient layout, and the amazing hull design were engineered in a computer and given intense review before the molds were ever built. The end result speaks for itself the first time you step on board and feel how roomy, comfortable, and easy to get around it is on a fathom. That secure, comfortable feeling is reinforced when you take it out on the water. One of the most unique features of the Fathom Yacht is its folding transom. This makes boarding so easy and provides a feeling of being close to the water yet still safe and dry. Having the transom lowered gives so much more room in the aft section of the yacht. With the tailgate raised, it provides a sealed aft section and still allows a full swim step on the stern. With the transom lowered, there is an option to install a net across the stern to secure pets and children, yet still have a view of the water being so close. At a boat show, as people enter, they are very appreciative of the Fathom Salon. They think they're on a 50-foot yacht because of its spaciousness. The rich wood finish, teak and holly sole, and huge windows all present a luxurious, expansive appeal. Most people at the show immediately go forward into the master stateroom to see if the rest of the yacht is equally as elegant. They are impressed with the oversized queen mattress and excellent interior decor. Because we elevated the bed, we built stairs to make a comfortable entry and exit from the raised mattress. We utilized the space in each one of the steps coming down from both sides of the bed to be attractive drawers. A huge storage space is located underneath the master stateroom mattress and is accessible through decorative cabinet doors at the foot of the mattress. The forward thruster is located beneath this space also. The master stateroom has hanging lockers and cabinets, plenty of storage. The port lights on both starboard and port open for ventilation. The Lumar 22 inch opening hatch in the master stateroom ceiling provides ventilation and escape. It is screened and also has a blackout shade to keep it dark when desired. Continuing into the head, we will start with the extremely large, comfortable shower and its glass enclosure. In this picture, you can see the shower wand, shower seat, and shower door. The door has a lock to keep it from swinging when the yacht is in motion. In the next picture, you see the vanity with its stainless steel sink and its mirrored cabinet door above. There is a storage cabinet below the sink. All plumbing fixtures Fathom uses are of very elegant quality. Fathom uses the Tecma head because of its faultless, thorough, quiet, and simple operation. It is an electric toilet that quietly macerates upon flushing and cleans itself. There is a black and gray water monitor in the head to show the fluid levels. The window is easily shaded for privacy, and there is a switch for the exhaust fan and light. A large, deep storage cabinet is located just behind the door in this picture for linens and towels. The aft stateroom is on the starboard side. This compartment offers a flexible design and most often is a six foot lateral double bed. We also have made this into an office. It has a multiple storage cabinets and excellent lighting. The stairs leading down from the galley are hinged 
to make a hatch that opens into the large crevasse that we call the commissary. This storage area is huge, over 100 cubic feet, and the main access to the mechanical systems centrally located below deck. It stretches all the way across from starboard to port. You can store a lot of things in here like golf clubs, cases of wine, extra dry goods. The possibilities are endless. Here are some pictures inside the commissary. The vertical tube with the hoses is the gray water dump chest. As you can see, there is lots of room for storage. This picture represents the standard galley layout utilizing a Force 10 3 burner cooktop with drawers underneath and a microwave convection oven above. The molded countertop has a deep single sink and all fathoms include a fan to vent cooking fumes overboard. The composite countertop resembles a stone surface but is soft and durable to the touch. You also have the option of a propane Force 10 stove and cooktop. It does sacrifice some drawer space, but the pantry in the next slide has ample room to make up for that. This unique countertop has a molded backsplash, as you can see in this picture, making cleanup a very simple wipe and done. The galley area centered underneath the pilot house on the right in this picture is a large shelved pantry storage area that provides lots of room to keep galley supplies. We are now utilizing an under-the-counter refrigeration system which comes standard with two side-by-side -side refrigerators each with its own freezer or you can option for a fridge and a freezer in the same space. Diamond Sea Glades manufactures very high quality windows and doors that allow a 360 degree view from the pilot house. A very comfortable helm chair and available footrest give the skipper just what they want while all the guests can sit around the settee while underway. The sliding door allows easy entrance to the bow area, yet it is also very easy to walk all the way around the boat on the deck trail. Wow! You have stand-up headroom going below decks on this 40-foot yacht. We call this area the garage because it is so adaptable. In this picture, the owners have installed the freezer, but a washing machine, tool chest, or just about anything can be put in this area. Of course, from the garage, you enter the engine room where all the power systems live. All the below decks, sides, walls, bulkheads are finished with a gel coat lamination, so they sparkle and present a very clean, finished look. The ceiling is a silver-backed sound deadening that also reflects light to adequately illuminate this space. All features of each piece of equipment are easy to get to and check. An optional oil changing system is available for those who want to maintain their equipment themselves. The fuel tanks have sight tubes to verify what the helm gauges say. Underneath the cockpit is a very spacious lazarette. The aluminum water tanks and some battery banks reside in this compartment, leaving very ample space available for storage. Coming up the staircase to the boat deck, one finds a beautiful panorama comparable to many larger yachts. There is ample room to mount a dinghy on this surface. I will go over the optional equipment in the next slide. All fathom masts are hinged and easily laid down to get under bridges and boathouses. 
The masts also have three halogen lamps that fully illuminate both the boat deck and the forward section of the yacht. The standard rail package is designed for a dinghy. An enclosed rail system can be substituted for a nominal charge. A very important feature of the Fathom is the gutter downspout system. In winter, you see black streaks down the sides of most yachts from the runoff of rain. Fathom has incorporated a gutter system in the boat deck that funnels that dark water to the ocean without any streaking on the side of a Fathom yacht. The upper deck has three options, with the largest being the flybridge. The pilot house top comes standard with a shorter mast. The flybridge option is interchangeable with the pilot house top and includes a taller mast. You can add it later. As you can see in this picture, it has two helm chairs and an L-shaped settee. Helm is to port. There is lots of storage underneath the settee. The steelhead davit option, or boat crane, is also easily added at a later time and has a 600 pound capacity. Many people also want the staircase hatch cover. It is a strong, clear Lexan panel that provides shelter from rain on the staircase and lower aft section. 